Less than five months from today, air passengers in Williston will be using the brand new airport. Opening day on the Williston Basin International Airport is scheduled for October 10th. There's still a lot of work to be done, including a very important building to be built. Yeah, it's moving fast, though. Jim Olson was there today for groundbreaking on the General Aviation Terminal. Groundbreakings can be expected on a quarter billion dollar project, but this groundbreaking comes less than five months before the new XWA, Williston Basin International Airport, is due to open. We'll get it done October 10th. Very excited for the opening. Tanner Overland says his company's General Aviation Terminal and U.S. Customs Facility will make the deadline and will help truly make the airport international. It opens up uh, the Williston Airport to not only the rest of the country, but from aircraft from all over the world. We want to make sure that we have the, these services available so that people from Canada and all over the world can can enter the United States through Williston, North Dakota. We anticipate an increase of trade coming in the near future once uh, the expansion is complete and we look forward to working with the local community to make that happen. As we provide service to everything from corporate aircraft, could be private jets, to a, a two-seater uh, Cessna 150. It's really a milestone for our project. A milestone, yes, but it's really just one of so many critical projects now in high gear, from runway building to the centerpiece passenger terminal. It takes a lot of workers. We have approximately 300 each day out on site right now. Just in the terminal alone, there's over 150 people. For Tanner Overland, this groundbreaking is the realization of a boyhood dream when he and his mom would sit by the airport fence, eating a DQ, admiring the planes. And so thank you for being part of our special day. Thank you. In Williston, Jim Olson, KX News. Wilson's airport director says runway work has been pushed back a little bit because of the cold spring, but he says the October 10th opening date is still on target. Roughly 60,000 people are diagnosed with Parkinson's disease.